This is the pound dollar on the 15 minute time frame. I've just got involved in a trend continuation trade. And what I'd like to do is talk you through the analysis, my entry reason, and um, why I've got targets in these particular areas. Just before I do that, we're currently risking 27 pips. Target ones are 48 and playing for an extension here, 91. So let me do that again. Yep, 91. Okay, so let's go out to the daily time frame. Okay, here we are on the daily time frame and uh, there isn't too much to talk about here, but uh, what we did was we came down last week and then this week we've been uh, making our way up, becoming bullish. Uh, if I remove the VS1 levels, you'll see that we're seeing a little bit of resistance here, uh, but we could see the market continue on up to retest those structure highs on the daily time frame, which is just there. So I'll put a, a structure level on there. Let's have a look at the 240. So what we have here is we have the market coming up. We have actually made a new high here above this structure level on the 240, indicating price could go a little higher. Uh, what we do have though is we have this move here. And you can see we have an AB equals CD pattern coming in at that zone. And so we could be looking at the market coming a little bit lower here based on this AB equals CD pattern. There's no real fib confluence here though, but what we just have had is a lower, low, lower close on the 240 time frame. So uh, not something I can trade because uh, we, we've actually violated the structure level indicating we can go higher. So um, a bit of a mixed bag there on the 240. As we look at the 60 minute time frame, you can actually see here that we've been trending quite nicely. So new structure high, outside return, new structure high, outside return, new structure high. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Then our outside return is from here. So anywhere in this zone, I'm going to want to be looking to buy the market up. And since it is trend continuation, and again here on the 60 minute time frame, if you look, um, this was actually a new high that was made. So I can look for a retest up at the top and for the market to go higher as well. And I've still got that structure line on there from um, where the daily closes were. So if we go to the 15 minute time frame, and I can use that as my entry, then what we've just had here is We've actually had a very, very nice higher high, higher close, this one. Um, so we've got the candle closing in the top 20% of the overall candle. Uh, that means we've got around an 80% wick. And just look how the candle closed. It closed with no wick at the top, uh, giving us a very nice bullish rejection candle there. So I've used that as the higher high, higher close. Um, we've actually held the structure level if we look here we did not close below it. So this is a simple trend continuation trade. Stops going ATR below the low. Okay, and uh, stops go, sorry, an ATR below the low. And what we also had here was we had some nice um, hidden, hidden divergence. So this here is the previous outside return. And if we put a structure level on from it to where we just bought the market, we can see that the market went oversold at around nine, eight or nine. And so we've got hidden divergence there, which is quite a nice signal when you're looking for trend continuation. So um, that is the trade. We'll come back and see if this market can rally on up and get those first and potential second targets. Uh, one thing I did forget to do actually was... Um, so looking at here, okay. I was looking at the extension, the FIB extension for targets, but um, what I have done is I've actually got secondary targets further back than the daily closes, and that's because they are based off 
they're facing off the 60. It might have been the 240. I know we've got the 133,000 up in that area. Yeah, in actual fact, this should be two pips. There we go. Okay, so there you go. 15 pips before that 133,000. A couple of pips below the closes of the candles for target twos. And we'll come back and see an update on this trade. We're back. Quick update on this trade. Currently 20 pips up. We uh, lifted off nicely from that uh, big rejection candle and the higher high, higher close. And um, what will happen here as we approach, because it's trend continuation, the closes of these candles, I'll be able to um, move to break even and or at least reduce down the risk on this particular trade. And we're back for another little update. We have just gone. Uh, well th currently 33 pips up we was 38 so we'd come within a couple of pips of the closes of the candles so what i've just done is i've actually reduced the risk um, i've not moved to break even because we're not close enough to my targets but i've reduced the risk on this trade um currently 33 pips up and we're back and we've just had news out and we spiked up here and hit our targets for 48 pips and we're back for the final part of the video and we only got target ones on this trade which is a real shame um, but nevertheless there you go target ones for 48 pips if you like the video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and of course give it a like